work with Angular, we have to install Node.js. In the browser, search for Node.js. Open the first link. Here we have two versions. This is the current version. Your LTS means long term support. You can use any one of them. I am going to download this one. So click here. Once the file downloaded, we have to open and install it. You can click next here. In my machine, I have already installed this Node.js. So I am clicking this cancel button here. Once the installation is complete, then we need to verify whether Node.js is successfully installed or not. Let's open command prompt. To verify the installation of Node.js, we need to run this command. See here, the version of Node is 16.17.1. If you install the Node, NPM also will get installed along with this node. To check the version of NPM, use this command. See here, package manager version is 8.15.0. In this machine, we have installed Node.js with this version. Okay. If you are having some errors like node is not defined, it means Node.js is not installed in your machine. Then you have to install it again. Now we have to install Angular CLI. Go back to browser. You have search for Angular CLI. Open the first link. See here. We need to run this command to install Angular CLI in our machine. Uh, in this, hyphen G means we are installing this package in our machine globally. You can copy this and go back to command prompt. Paste the command which we copied from browser, then press enter. Let's say already we have Angular 10 in our system. Now, if you want to work with the latest version, by using the same command, we will get the latest version in your system. Now, Angular has been installed successfully. To verify the installation, we can run this command ngv. See here. Angular CLI version is 14.2.3, node version is 16.17.0 and the package manager NPM version is 8.15.0 and we are using Windows operating system. These packages are installed along with Angular. Now uh, node and Angular is installed successfully. Now we have to install editor. So in our video series, we will use Visual Studio Code Editor. You can use any editor. Now go back to the browser. Your search for VS Code. Open the first link. Here by default, download for Windows is selected. Click this one. If you are using different OS, um, you can choose the different download. Once the file downloaded, simply open. And install it. I have already installed this Visual Studio code in my machine. If you want to install, then follow all these steps that are given here. Make sure to enable all the checkboxes. This will helpful to open Visual Studio in anywhere in the system. Now I click this cancel button here. Once you install the VS Code, you can open it um, by searching VS Code like this.
this is how VS Code looks like. Uh, if you want to change the theme of Visual Studio Code, you can customize the themes, design, shortcut, and look. By default, uh, Visual Studio Code in dot theme. If you want to change, go to File menu, then choose this Preferences. Here, click this Color theme. See here, uh, we have lots of themes available here. Choose this one, uh, like say light. You can see here uh, the theme of this Visual Studio code is um, changed. Now I want to work with dark theme. So choose this one dark. Okay. So to work with Angular, we need to install these three things, Node, Angular CLI, and Editor. Here we are using Visual Studio Code Editor. We have to install few more softwares. These are optional. Now go back to browser. You search for Git and open this link. You click download for Windows. Click here. If you want to learn about Git, um, click this. You can learn from this website itself. Click next. In my machine, I have already installed this Git. Now click this can no button. Okay. Now last software is Tortoise Git. Uh, it provides beautiful UI. Now search for Tortoise Git. Open this link. You are click the download here. For 64 bit. Open this one. This software is optional. So this is the simplest UI. That's why we are using this. Now we have installed everything that we need to work with Angular. Remember, all these softwares that are installed are completely free. It doesn't require any specific license to work with commercial and personal websites. Thanks for watching this video.